Hodgesund Airport, Carmoy, 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 Hodgesund Airport, Carmoy, Norwegian, Hodgesund Lufthaven, Carmoy, Iata How, Ikau, and is an international airport serving the Hogaland region in Norway. It is located just outside the town of Hodgesund on the Helganes Peninsula, on the island of Carmoy in the municipality of Carmoy, Rogaland County, Norway. The airport features a 2120-meter 6960 FT runway aligned 13-31. Scandinavian Airlines SAS and Norwegian Air Shuttle provide services to Oslo. Hodgesund Airport also offers discounts on international routes and has some service from low-cost carriers. The airport handled 694,005 passengers in 2014. The airport opened on 8 April 1975. In addition to SAS flights to the capital, the airport has variously seen services by Nord Joffley, Brothens Safe, Busy B, Coast Aero Center, Coast Air Norwegian, and SAS Commuter. A new international terminal opened in 1989. Except occasional routes to Aberdeen, regular international flights commenced in 1998. Ryanair started services in 2003, after which the runway was extended 400 meters 1300 ft. History Construction Two water aerodromes served Hodgesund before the opening of the airport at Helganes. Hodgesund Naval Air Station was in use by the Royal Norwegian Navy Air Service from 1918 to 1919. Hodgesund Airport Storsenskjær was taken into use in 1936 and served various coastal seaplane services operated by Widro, Norwegian Airlines and West Norway Airlines, until its closing in 1956. The opening of Bergen Airport, Flesland in 1956 caused the coastal seaplane services to be terminated. Hodgesund Municipality preemptively started working with plans for a land airport ahead of this. With Storsenskjær closed, the townspeople had to travel to Stavanger Airport, Sola to catch an aircraft. A proposed feeder service was rejected, and the municipal council instead asked that the state grants be used to help fund a land airport. An inter-municipal commission was established in 1954, which in November 1956 recommended that Utvik in Avaldsnes in today's Karmoy be selected as a site for a regional airport with a 600-meter 2000 FD runway. This led to Hodgesund municipality spending NOK 1.1 million in 1959 to buy a suitable lot there. The 1962 State Commission led by Preben Mund recommended in a 1965 white paper it prioritized Hodgesund second after the completion of Harstad slash Narvik Airport Evans and Christiansund Airport, Cavernbergit, and parallel with proposed airports in Letnies and Sandnes Joan. This led to a new debate about the location of an airport for Hodgesund. The main concern with Utvik was that it would occupy agricultural land. Twenty three other locations were considered by a local commission, including sites in Sveo, Tisvere, and southern Karmoy. They found Utvik and Sor Karmoyheya to be the most suitable. The Civil Aviation Administration later renamed Avenir considered those places and also looked into Kangsheyang. These sites limited the runway length to 1800 and 1600 meters 5,900 and 5,200 ft, respectively. Karmoy Municipal Council rejected the Utvik alternative in May 1966 of concern to farmland. At this time, Helganes was launched as a proposal by its land owner. This proposal was followed up and ultimately chosen by the authorities. Parliament approved the airport on 2 June 1972. Prior to this, the Inter-Municipal Commission had bought the land and built water, power and sewer lines to the site, costing NOK 20 million. Construction commenced in 1973 and took 13 months, costing 65 million KR. The small Lake Tyvek John was drained in the process and the airport received a runway measuring 1720 by 45 meters 5,643 
by 148 ft. The first landing was a Convair Metropolitan on 22 November 1974 operated by the CAA. The official opening took place on 8 April 1975. Early Operations the route concessions were split between Scandinavian Airlines System SAS and Brahmins Safe. The former was allowed to fly the route to Oslo Airport, Fornebu, while the latter was permitted to fly to Bergen and Stavanger. Brahmins chose to not operate this concession. Two airlines were established at the airport in 1975, Coast Aero Center and Nord Joffley. These both started various air taxi services. Hogland Flight Club was established as an aviation club. Nord Joffley commenced a services between Stavanger, Paul de Sund, and Bergen in 1976. They flew three times daily to Bergen and twice daily to Stavanger, while SAS flew twice daily to Oslo. From 1979, this increased to three daily flights. In the first years, the opening hours were a contended issue as the airport was closed in the middle of the day and late evenings. From 27 December 1976, a third shift was introduced, significantly increasing the airport's operational hours. The general aviation and mostly helicopter operator Fonafly established an office at the airport the following year. The airport opened with an instrument landing system, but only runway 13 had a localizer. This was changed in 1978, when a localizer from runway 31 was also installed. There was a political discussion about Helilift establishing an offshore helicopter terminal at Hodgesund Airport to compete with helicopter service which at the time was operating out of Stavanger Airport. However, the government found that there was no need for such a base. By 1981, all the airlines at the airport were losing money. The third departure to Oslo did not generate sufficient patronage and after threatening to terminate the extra flight, SAS introduced a surcharge on all Hodgesund tickets to cover its an OK 3 million per year deficit on the route. Also, Nord Joffley was struggling and was bought by Norving in 1981. It made an interlining agreement with KLM which allowed passengers to fly from Hodgesund by a Stavanger to Amsterdam for the same prices as from Stavanger. Similar agreements were soon struck with other international airlines operating out of Stavanger. After only being allowed to carry a maximum of nine passengers, Norse Joffley was from then allowed to operate the larger 19-passenger Fairchild Swearingen Metroliner. Norse Joffley operated with a loss every year. The airline was therefore liquidated in 1982, and the assets transferred to Norving and the Hodgson base was taken over by Norving. By then patronage was sufficient that SAS replaced its smaller Douglas DC-9-21s minus minus with the larger 122-passenger DC-9-41s. Minus minus Rothens Safe, through its regional affiliate BusyBee, started operated a route from Stavanger via Hodgesund to Bergen in 1984. Stettel contracted helicopter service to operate helicopter flights to a platform on Statpike from Carmoy. SAS introduced a fourth service in 1984 using a F-27. The airport expanded its opening hours from 1985 when a fourth shift was hired. Coast Aero Center established the first scheduled international service in 1986 with a direct service to Aberdeen Airport using a 15-passenger Embraer EMB 110 Bandarant. The route was soon terminated as it used a full crew shift and aircraft to make only one round trip per day. Norving closed its base at Hodgesund in November, as it gradually terminated its operations in southern Norway due to financial difficulties. Coast Aero Center went bankrupt in 1988, but the assets were used to establish a new airline, Coast Air. It commenced services to Stavanger with de Havilland Canada Twin Otters from 1989. The airport started work on a new international terminal in 1987, allowing it to open on 18 July 1988. It included a duty-free shop and was built to serve one weekly, seasonal inclusive tour flight to Palma de Mallorca Airport. The following year, the tour operators cancelled all charter services from Hodgesund. 
Air Stored was established at Hodgesund Airport in 1990. They bought Norving's former hangar, but after a buyout instead chose to operate out of nearby Stored Airport, Sorstocken instead. Zivi went bankrupt in 1992, and Brahmin's regional routes were allocated to Norwegian Air Shuttle, who operated with Fokker 50s. Coast Air commenced two scheduled services from Hodgesund in 1994. The one was to Bergen and Kristiansand Airport, Kevik. The other was flew to Fadjerns Airport, Laren and onwards to Oslo. From 9 to 13 July 1995 the runway was re-asphalted, during which time the airport was closed. Competition and Runway Extension The Aviation Club shut down in 1996, after financial difficulties for many years. The Fadrins route was terminated the same year when Coast Air lost the tender to operate it. Instead they opened a service to Aberdeen from 1997. The aviation market in Norway was deregulated from 1 April 1994, but not until the 1998 opening of Oslo Airport. Gardermoen were there sufficient slots available at the capital airport for Brothens to introduce routes to Hodgesund. This took place on 25 October 1998, with five daily services. Asaeus increased their daily services from five to six. On top of this, Coast Air commenced flights to Sandefjord Airport, Torp a few days a week. From November, Sun Air followed up with three weekly services to Belund Airport in Denmark. SAS established two daily services to Copenhagen Airport from early 1999 with a Fokker 50. However, without a morning departure it had little patronage as it was faster to reach the Danish capital via Oslo. SAS thus terminated the service after a year, as did Sun Air to Belund. A committee was established in 1995 to look into the possibility of lengthening the runway. The initial reasoning was to serve long-haul fish export aircraft. With the introduction of McDonnell Douglas and Demonis 80 aircraft, SAS oftentimes could not operate them at their maximum takeoff weight. This sometimes meant that not all seats could be sold. Therefore, SAS continued to use DC 9s on as many departures as possible out of Hodgesund. The main concern was not the cost incurred by lengthening the runway per sea, but rather that building passed a de Carl the distance of 1600 meters 5000. 200 ft would cause the shoulders to have to be expanded from 75 to 150 meters 246 to 492 ft three investment groups offered to buy the airport and make it a gateway to western norway the ca had meetings with wiggins but stated that no norwegian airports were for sale wiggins instead proposed a lease where they would invest an OK 630 million in the aerodrome, including a hotel complex. The increased number of flights caused expansion of the terminal, which opened in September 1999. However, after failing to make money on the new route, Rothens pulled out of the Oslo service in November 1999. Rothens reduced its services to Bergen in January 2000, after which Coast Air responded by increasing its services. However, the airline closed the Aberdeen route the following year. Coast Air started its first head-on competition with Scandinavian Airlines on to June 2003. Using the ATR-42, it introduced two daily services from Hodgesund to Oslo. By September this had increased to three and tickets were selling as low as NOK 500. SAS responded with a 22% cut in ticket prices. Coast Air lost an OK 11 million on the price war during 2003 and was ultimately forced to withdraw from the route in May 2004. The case was investigated by the Norwegian Competition Authority based on accusations of SAS carrying out illegal price dumping on the route. They issued a fine of an OK 20 million, but the case ended in Oslo District Court where Scandinavian Airlines was acquitted. Though initially appealed by the authority, the matter was settled out of court in December 2007, in which the airline agreed that they had broken the law, but that since it took place immediately the act came into power, they would not have to pay the fine. SAS Commuter took over Norwegian Air Shuttle's 
services from 1 April 2003. Inclusive tour charters commenced again in 2004 after a 14-year drought. Brothens and SAS merged to create SAS Brothens in May 2004, with the new airline taking over the Oslo route. It passed on the Scandinavian Airlines in 2007. Parliament decided that five Avenir airports would be allowed to issue 90% discount on takeoff charges on international routes. This accounted in 2004 to an OK 4,800 per flight for a Boeing 737 minus 200. However, they still had to pay full terminal security and air navigation service charges. This allowed Hodgesund to establish itself as a low-cost airport for low-cost carriers. Ryanair started looking at Hodgesund as a destination in 2002, hoping to serve both Rogaland and Hordaland from one airport. However, they demanded that the runway be lengthened if they were to use Carmoy. It launched its inaugural daily route to London Stansted Airport on 30 April 2003. By using the smaller Boeing 737-200 aircraft, the airline could, as an interim solution, get by with the short runway, the shortest of any airport served by the airline. To finance the longer runway, the intermunicipal power company Hogland Craft established Lothen Nutvikling to finance the construction. In exchange, they were given a portion of the revenue from increased traffic. Clearing started in 2002 and construction began in mid minutes 2003. The runway was lengthened by 400 meters 1300 FT to a length of 2120 meters 6960 FT and declared lengths of 2000 meters 6600 FT. This allowed both Ryanair and SAS as well as any charter operators to operate a fully loaded Boeing 737 minutes 800. The expansion cost in OK 90 million, and the agreement had a duration for 15 years, during which time the company received a percentage of revenue from duty free and parking generated from international services. Luthev Nutvikling was privatized in 2006, and by 2014, there was a controversy regarding the legality of the agreement following changes to European Union regulations regarding airport subsidies. Further extension of the runway is difficult since the shoreline is at the northwest end of the runway while the flight path to the southeast passes over a water tower that is currently just clear the required safety margins. Ryanair introduced its second service to Bremen Airport in Germany on 4 June 2007. Meanwhile, Coastair introduced direct services from Hodgesund to Copenhagen. The company filed for bankruptcy on 23 January 2008. In the wake, Widro commenced a twice-daily service to Copenhagen starting on 30 March 2008. Patronage was too low and the route was terminated by the end of the year. Norwegian returned to Hodgesund on 19 August 2009 with three daily services to Oslo. SA's commuter's route to Bergen was taken over by Widro in 2010, but closed in October 2016 due to fee rises and lack of demand. The airline resumed the Copenhagen route on 30 October 2011, operating a single daily round trip. Ryanair expanded its portfolio from 27 March 2012 with seasonal routes to Palma, de Mallorca, Alicante Airport and Pisa Airport. Was Air introduced services to Gdansk Lech Walesa Airport from 4 April. Facilities the airport is situated on the peninsula of Helganes in Carmoy. The airport features a terminal building with a domestic and international departure hall, residing at a reference elevation of 27 meters 89 ft above mean sea level. It has one runway designated 13/31, with an asphalt surface measuring 2120 by 45 meters 6955 ft x 148 ft. It has a takeoff run available tour of 2060 meters, 6760 ft, and a landing distance available LDA of 2000 meters, 6600 ft. The airport is equipped with an instrument landing system and Category 7 fire and rescue service. Airlines and destinations. 
Scandinavian Airlines and Norwegian Air Shuttle both operate daily services to Oslo using Boeing 737 aircraft. Was Air operates four weekly services to Gdansk and in 2020 will start operate a new route to Krakow. Operation of the airport ran at a deficit of 20 million KR in 2012. Hajasund Airport served 694,005 passengers, 10,265 aircraft movements, and handled 234 tons of cargo. This makes Hajasund the 11th busiest airport in the country. Statistics See source Wikidata query and sources. Ground transport The airport is situated at the terminus of European Road Eon 134, between 15 and 20 minutes drive from the town center of Hodgesund. There is parking for 1,200 cars at the airport. Taxis and car rental is also available. Tide Bus operates an airport coach service to the town center. Nor WAY Bus Express runs its Bergen to Stavanger coach service, Kisbussen, via Hodgesund Airport in connection with Ryanair's flights. Travel time to Stavanger is 140 hours and to Bergen 3-0 hours. Both involve a ferry ride.